many ways, society struggles to bridge gaps between people, whether their distance is race or age. Thus, Hearts has recognized this issue and has made various efforts to bridge all of these gaps through the gift of music to our windward side kupuna and to the world. In the participation of this year's Kupuna Mahalo project, the youth have learned that in service, both the servant and the served are blessed in the process. As servants, we had a first-hand experience of the joy in embracing our Kupuna and serving them. The Kupuna whom we served in this project were blessed in the reuniting of many old friends at our concert, as well as the extremely evident joy that they radiated while watching us perform. And with that, We'll segue into some clips of our youth serving our kupuna through the gift of music. Plan outcomes for our project were to reach out to kupuna who are unable to leave their homes due to special conditions or circumstances under which they must remain under supervision in a house or facility. The latter part of our project, which was held at Hale Kuike and the home of Catherine Meadows, was what ultimately achieved our expected outcomes. In both places, we were able to interact with and serve our shut-in windward side kupuna. A major accomplishment achieved outside of our expected outcome was that we were able to establish a relationship with the people of Halekuhike Care Home. Much like our service at Pohainani since our first Castle Foundation grant, we will continue to visit and serve the kupuna of Halekuhike. The 70 youth involved in this project have organized performances and have also done all of the performing for our kupuna. The adults have run the sound booth for our mass performances and have accompanied performers on the piano. The youth involved in this project have collectively served over 256 logged hours plus time spent shooting, organizing, and editing videos for the final report. One of our many challenges was that our seniors were turning 18 in the middle of our project. Since our seniors tend to be our most consistent students in attendance, they were continuing to serve but could no longer contribute to the youth grants logged hours. Another challenge was venue changes. When we're Church of the Nazarene was unable to host our Kupuna concert, so we held it at Kailua Church of the Nazarene instead. Pohai Nani's cottage also became unavailable, so we performed for Haleku Ike and their wonderful residents. Although this project had its challenges, the joy and the faces of the Kupuna were well worth our efforts to overcome these challenges. For anyone looking to do something similar, make sure to consider every single care home to perform at inside or outside of your project's criteria because even if the service hours may not monetarily count, giving back to the kupuna will always be met with love and lots of joy. Seize every opportunity to give back to the kupuna, especially those within immediate reach, which for us was the beautiful kupuna of our windward side.
So in the Kupuna concert, how did you see this um, as a way that you could use your passions or talents in music uh, to kind of reach out to people in your community? Well, I saw it as a really good opportunity because I personally am super passionate about music and it's just something I love to do. And the fact that I can use it to bless other people and our Kupuna who really deserve it, that really just is a great opportunity. So how did this project um, impact you personally and how did you feel that it impacted the people that you were serving? I believe it impacted me in a way that made me um, very uh, loving and respectful to our Kapuna. And I was seeing all the happy faces while we were singing and being able to bless and even the elderly while we went to um, the old folks home. Um, really, it, it gave me a certain joy that I can't really explain but it, it just impacted me in a way that um, respect our Kupuna for how much they went through and what they've done for our generation. And I think in the way that it impacted everybody else, it's probably the same way. Um, just seeing their smiling faces and um, them enjoying the songs that we're singing, even some Japanese songs we sang, that they were able to sing along, that they remembered it, it was truly amazing, a true blessing um, to most of us and all of us. Yeah. Thank you, Evan. So what did you think about the Kupuna that we were able to perform for? So the thing I really enjoyed about they're just they're so free and open about the music and just their enjoyment because a lot of other concerts were there and people are kind of restrained they're afraid to clap they're afraid to sing and dance but the Kabuna they're just so open about it they're singing with us they're dancing they're interacting it just makes for a really wonderful experience just to share that with what kind of insight did you gain from participating in this project for our Kabuna? Um, I think that when you're in choir um, a lot of it is, you know, about how you're singing and how you're improving and are you getting the notes right. And, you know, a lot of it is trying to perfect the songs that you're singing. Um, and sometimes it's hard to remember that singing isn't for us. And at the Kapuna concert, you know, kind of looking out and watching them, enjoying our music, it reminded me that, you know, singing isn't just for us and for ourselves, but to, you know, to share with others and to bring happiness to others. So what kind of experiences did you get to have participating in this project and how did they impact you? Um, I think over the course of this project, I found a newfound understanding and respect for those before us. One example was when I told um, a segment of, about my grandmother during one of the Kahuna concerts. And I think um, what majorly impacted me was conversing with Kahuna afterwards and getting to hear their life lessons and stories. Through this project, we were once again able to spark joy in our windward side kupuna. Mahalo nui loa, Castle Foundation.